What's going on YouTube? In this video we're talking about motivation, how to overcome being stuck on a code problem. So I struggle with this and I, you know, I, I know I'm not the only one, even though it feels like in that moment when you're stuck on a problem, you're like, why don't I, why don't I get it? Why am I so stupid? Like, at least that's how I feel because I'm pretty, I'm pretty hard on myself. I like to hold myself to a higher standard. Ask my Discord what they do uh, when they get stuck on a problem because this happens to everyone. So have a look at what they said. You can see pretty much the reoccurring theme here is that you know, take a break, look at the documentation, ask a coworker. You're not really stuck until you accept that you're stuck. This happened to me a lot in Code Bootcamp. Every morning, it would hand you this really simple problem to warm you up, and I would essentially give up before even trying because I just wanted to get to the next stuff where I could maybe make progress. But now that I've been doing this, you just have to accept the fact that you're not gonna know how to do everything. There's always gonna be someone out there that does know how to do the stuff that you're having trouble with, and it's gonna, it's gonna seem like they're a genius to you because they're, they have a, a piece of knowledge that, you, that you're missing. Sometimes the way I like to think about it is, are you stuck or is the problem stuck? Just because you get up and walk away and put it on pause doesn't mean that you've given up, right? Just because you're not thinking about it anymore doesn't mean that you're still stuck. You're just taking a break, that's fine. Like once you admit to defeat and you say, all right, that's it, I'm stuck, you know, then, 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 you're, in, then you're in the hole. Usually once that happens, you start to have these spiraling downward kind of like negative thoughts, and then it starts to affect your motivation. And what you have to remember with motivation is that when you start to lose it, it happens because you usually lose sight of the goal and you forget the progress that you've made. Uh, there's a lot of students that I've taught that went from knowing absolutely nothing to knowing how to make a complete web page. And then they're just getting stuck on like a constructor or something in JavaScript that is a little bit confusing and they just tear themselves to pieces. They give themselves the hardest time. And, and I'll admit to doing this too because I like to hold myself to a high standard. But you have to remember the progress that you've made. You have to take a second, look back and give yourself some credit. Stop being so hard on yourself. You made it this far and remember all those times you got stuck and made it past before. Remember that. And so just because you're in this moment and you think that it's never gonna happen, it will. Because you've already said that most likely 10 other times when you were learning. So and then you have to be able to look forward into the future and, and see where you wanna go in five years. Have that vision board. Like I actually have a vision board. Uh, it's just a bunch of bookmarks. It's a little folder that I have. It's a vision board of what I see, of where I wanna go, what I wanna do, who I wanna be. And I, you know, if I'm not feeling it, I'll always click those links for some inspiration. Um, but another thing you have to remember about motivation is that it's fleeting. Motivation, yeah, it's like, it's like the match that lights the fire, but you have to keep it going. It will constantly burn out, and sometimes it'll get really close. And when that time comes, you need what is called discipline. That is sticking to a routine and just doing it even when you don't want to do it. This has been said over and over and over. You know, get motivated, but get disciplined because that'll last longer. I don't know if that's a quote somewhere, but it feels like a quote when I when that came out. Like, I hope we're not getting into like the Tony Robbins, Joel Osteen type absolute, you know, the motivation channel. That's not what I'm trying to say here. You have to give yourself some credit, and I have to do that to myself too. Like sometimes I just get really frustrated that everything, all the answers that I want aren't aren't. I don't get them. I'm not getting them right now. When you're not seeing results on a day-to-day -day basis, it's hard to accept that you're making any progress. There's this book, I know, God, here I go with the books again. It's called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. He talks about how immediately when you take a plane off and it's going to its destination, if you were to do 0.1% um, change in navigation, you know, over, over the course of the flight, like at first, yeah, it's not very much, and it'll probably still get there, but like at the end of the, in, end of the flight, on a long enough timeline, let's say like from California to New York, you're gonna be in like Canada, or who knows, in the middle, of the Gulf of Mexico or somewhere, you know. Once you have momentum, it's easy to keep going. It's, that's, that's just the hardest part. You'll be surprised at what momentum can do for someone's motivation. You know, I did something three days in a row, four days in a row, five days in a row. Jerry Seinfeld has the thing where he has a calendar and he puts an X on every day he does something or every day he wrote down a joke. And, and then after a while, it looked like a chain and his only job was to not break the chain. And now how does this have to do with being stuck on a code problem? You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. It's not sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. It's not failure until you've given up. The last time that you try to do something and then you're like, okay, that's when you failed. 
every other time that you tried and didn't work, you, you didn't fail. You just found another way it didn't work. But the last time when you're like, all right, I'm done. Then you failed, then you're stuck, then you're in the box. But really, this is, a, this is a loaded problem. I read a lot of books about mindset psychology, and the truth is you're never going to be able to learn all of it. You're never going to, like there's just so much out there. You only need to learn what you need to know to do the job. Like you should always be learning more, but learn what you need to know to get the job done. Don't expect that you can know everything in this field, but because, because of the time it would take to learn everything in this field, even if you could, everything will change. So you need to learn what is relevant to you and not everything there is in the world. And don't go into it expecting like, oh, I can't do this because I'll never know this. The more valuable skill is the ability to learn something quickly. It's not what you know. Since I've kind of like, I took that one question and I went into like a whole lifestyle management. So let me give you some actionable tips here besides my whole motivational spiel. You can ask a coworker. You can post on Stack Overflow. You can join the Discord and ask there. There's other forums besides Stack Overflow. Take a break, walk away, um, just do something completely different. Just get your mind off of it. Don't lose sight of where you wanna go and don't forget the progress that you've made. And for beginners, this might be harder because your progress takes time to build up. But just look back, you know, everyone has a little bit of noob gains in almost every aspect of life and code, HTML, CSS. People get that right away, lifting, people get the noob gains. Anyways guys, that was my spiel on this topic. Hope it was helpful. Hope you're fired up, hope you're motivated. I should put some like, epic music on this part right now and you know I, I really hope that you guys come join the discord come ask me questions it's more than just code it's hanging out got some good people we're always just trying to improve the link for that is in the description i have a survey link for that's also in the description i want your feedback I want your thoughts I'm making a free udemy course and when i finish it i have your email from the forum and so then i can email you and you first access to the course so i would really appreciate if you do give me feedback if you want to see more videos like this you want to be part of giving me video ideas, video requests, be sure to check out the stream or just leave a comment below, shoot me an email. You know, I always try to engage, keep these as real as possible. Hit that little subscribe button, hit the little bell. Not sure if that works anymore, but it doesn't matter. I would appreciate it anyways. And I'll see you in the next video.